Today we're at DNM Motorsports and we're checking out a brand new Superformance Cobra. Under the hood here, twist both latches, pop this forward. You're gonna find this absolutely beautiful Roush racing motor. Now this is prepared by Roush. It's a 342R motor. This has an Edelbrock intake up top. You can actually see the air cleaner here. Uh, MSD ignition, but all the accessory drive belts, everything can put in right, but it really looks brand new in here. And I would venture to guess that this is far beyond the quality you would have gotten with the original. Uh, just looking at the frame rails, the structure, the engineering, I mean, just seeing the steering line here, it all seems to be of extraordinarily high durability. The Roush 342R V8 here does make 450 horsepower in this small car. Uh, it's routed to a conventional five-speed manual, uh, which is obviously routed to the rear wheels. Let's take a walk around it. This really is a brand new car. I know it is the recreation of what the Shelby Cobra really is, but uh, being a factory new car, the build quality is up to 21st century standards as well as the accommodations and drivability but it replicates almost to a better extent the driving experience that you'd experience in the real classic. Uh, if you look inside here, obviously this wide mouth on the front of the car with, uh, you can see the coolers, radiators, uh, and the optional stainless steel tow hooks here. But everything here is to scale from the replica, and you can see the halogen lamps, signals. Uh, it's what you'd expect if you were looking at a real one. Um, got some neat options here. Now these stripes are an individual option on the car, uh, but this is a very, very bright yellow. Now these cars are easy to order. You can actually pick these cars out as a roller turnkey and fit the uh, drive light on here. This particular car has a Roush uh, 342R motor, uh, which is a very strong motor at that. Uh, but down here, this is a very specific to this car. You got a Halibrand style knockoff wheel. Uh, Goodyear Eagle GT2's on here. A 250 R15 up front. Everything on these cars is correct to the original, so you can actually see the venting's in the correct place. These are ceramic coated side pipes. But look at the, the fender here. I mean, just the hips on this car are pretty amazing. Uh, when you look at the rear tire here, this is an optional upgrade as well with the Halibrand style wheel. This is a 295-50R15. Now something that'll probably shock most, including myself, is the amount of trunk space you actually get in this car. Let's pop this up here. Got a mechanical support, but it actually goes in pretty deep. Now I'm not gonna jump in to show everybody that I could actually fit in here but I mean, you've got more than ample storage for two people to get out of town for a weekend. This really is the benchmark for the replication of the Cobras that were originally built in the 60s, but there's some that are good and there's some that are not so good. Now, one of the first telltale signs that I always see on any sort of replica Cobra, uh, this windshield, sometimes they have it sitting straight up, but this is really very specific to the actual uh, car. And you can see that it's got the adjustable side vents that you would have gotten in uh, the original Cobra, and then also the single roll hoop. That's pretty sharp too. Got the aluminum fuel filler here. On the interior here, it's easy to get in and out. Just slide the uh, interior door handle forward, drop myself in. Very specific buckets that are almost a perfect replication of uh, what you would have seen in the original. But the driving position, it's pretty sweet. Nicely low cut, definitely a Roadster style uh, driving position, but very correct. I mean, obviously the visibility, I can't imagine that this is too much different than sitting in the original car. It's a really basic layout, but you got a wood steering wheel here, uh, period specific rear view mirror. Also the exterior mirror here, which again, very specific to the car. But nice layout, all your basic gauges, the typical backwards Smith style uh, speedometer there. You do have a heater and a fan here, so you can use that as well. And obviously wipers for the front. Uh, there is a tonneau canopy that goes over. Just a little touch of 21st century here. You've got a power outlet hidden under the dash. I've always said that the Lotus Elise 
was the most exciting car on the road, and I take it back. That car has since been trumped entirely by the Superformance Cobra. I don't even think driving an original would make me this excited because I'd be scared of what would happen, but the construction, the fact that there's a warranty on this motor, and it's just a raw driving experience. It doesn't ride that hard. I mean, the alignment feels good. The clutch is actually pretty light. This engine is super flexible, but listen to the downshift. I'm gonna go from second to third, from third to second, actually. When you wake up your neighborhood and we're not even at two grand, like there's a bus next to us here. Can't even hear it. generation Viper although it's more fun I'd probably take this over new Viper today I mean you got you still have heat you've got ventilation you've got not too bad of seats five-speed manual that just feels great doesn't feel like you're gonna break anything this car is super solid you hit big bumps and it's it you feel them but the structure is so solid, it absorbs them. No squeaks, no rattles. 